Handling your year end in stage one is really simple and should not intimidate you. Here's why. Your financial year is only really important with regard to reporting. In other words, if you still want to capture transactions for last year, you can easily do this. Updating your financial year has no effect on capturing. This means that you can choose to close off your financial year whenever you are ready. Here is how we recommend that you handle your financial year end. When you log into Stage 1 for the first time in the new financial year, for most of you this will be the 1st of March. You will receive a notification that you are in the new financial year. You will be asked whether you want to update your current financial year in company settings. We recommend that you answer yes here. This is only really important with regard to reporting and when you run reports for this year and last year. Remember, you can still capture transactions for any dates in this year and last year. If you want to update your financial year manually, you can do this by going to your company settings, selecting the financial year setting under the general settings tab and updating your current financial year. When you are ready to close off your financial year, this is what you should do. Make sure that you have captured all of your transactions up to your financial year end. Review your bank accounts to ensure that all transactions have been imported. Make sure you have captured all your supply invoices and processed all of your customer tax invoices. For those users that have inventory items, you will need to confirm your inventory values and quantities on hand and update your balance sheet with your inventory by means of a journal entry. Firstly, print out your item valuation reports out of Sage 1. Confirm the quantities on hand are correct. This may require a year in stock take. And also confirm that your average costs appear reasonable. You can do this by comparing the average cost in your item valuation report to the unit cost in the total row on your purchases by item report. Run your purchases by item report for the financial year. Compare the unit cost to the item valuation and ensure that there are no major discrepancies. If you identify any discrepancies in your item quantities or values, you will need to do an item adjustment. Go to the item adjustment screen and navigate to the quick entry grid. Select the year end as your date and provide a detailed description. Select the item or items that you wish to adjust and update these items to the correct quantity and average cost. Once your inventory value is confirmed, you should record this value on your balance sheet. You will do this by processing a journal entry to inventory with the contra entry affecting your profit and loss for the financial year. This will update your balance sheet to reflect your inventory on hand and it will also correct your cost of sales to be correct for the financial period. Once all processing and adjustments have been done, you will need to save a soft copy and print out all of your important reports at your year end date, in our example 29th February 2016. All of your reports can be found under the Reports menu. Important year-end reports include your financial statements, your trial balance, your profit and loss, and your balance sheet. You will also want to print out your Customer's Day's Outstanding Report and Supplier's Day's Outstanding Report. And if you have inventory, you'll want to print out your item valuation as well. Finally, we recommend that you lock down your financial year by setting a lockdown date in your company settings. Set your lockdown date as your year-end. What this means is that you will not be able to capture any new transactions before the lockdown date. You will, however, still be able to run any reports for that period. And that's all you need to know about year-end and financial years in Sage 1. Thank you for watching.